We just keep reminding you, I almost sound like a broken record here, right? Christmas just one week from today. So of course this is the time of the year when the whole family gets together. And of course, in addition to it being a great time for fun and fellowship, it also is really an opportune time to have some important conversations. Our expert in estate planning, David Carrier, is here to help us get started. But before we get to business, let's talk about this great collection of great stuff you have yeah. on the table here today because we know you have a heart for seniors and for helping seniors, and you're part of an important mission right now. That's right. You know, there's an awful lot of, uh, a lot, awful lot of seniors who are taking care of kids. They're foster parents. They're taking grandkids in, all that sort of thing. And the, uh, the Be a Santa to a Senior program is designed to help out. And the question, you know how they have the giving trees, you know, where you mm -hmm. get the thing? Well, guess what the seniors want? Toiletries and cleaning products. Practical items. Very practical stuff. And so this is, the, this is what we focused on. We were thinking we could get uh, maybe 10 little buckets, uh, but we asked the people who come to the Life Plan workshops to bring stuff in. Now we're going for 20 of the five gallon pails. We've had, we've had people just stop by the office with a full pail. Yes. And say, hey, here you go. Here's a great uh, bundle of stuff for bundle you. Bundle of stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and it, really, it really helps out those people who are really helping out the next generation, you know? Right. So it's, it's just, uh, it, it's just, really, uh, just really a lot of fun. And right. And what a blessing for them financially, because I'm looking here, you know, I do the grocery shopping in our family, believe mm -hmm. it or not, and buy the cleaning products. <laughs> and I'm looking here, this is probably about at least $30 worth of cleaning and personal products oh, yeah. here. Yeah. So that is really great. And and we're we're topping the, top the buckets. So topping the really buckets happy. off. We love that. And uh, for people who have questions about planning, mm -hmm. we know that, you know, you've often said the holidays are a great time when people come together to have those important conversations. Well, you know, it's the one time of year when everybody's here, mm -hmm. you know, when we can get everybody around the table where we can get people to show up and, you know, people actually start talking about these things at this time. And one of the things we like about the Life Plan Workshop is uh, we'll have two generations, sometimes three generations uh, of people, you know, grandma's there, the kids, and, you know, the kids home from mm -hmm. college. And we're not, we, it's not like you're going to ask your kid, how should we do this? Uh, but it is a good idea that everybody kind of heard the same thing. So we found that really effective in getting that conversation started. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy thing. And it's nice because we have a neutral third party here who can <laughs> just ask those questions when everybody is, you know, in a great mood and a wonderful. Yeah. Oh, and, and on the 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve, yes. uh, we're extending the, the pie motif. Oh, Now, perfect. we don't guarantee this next year, but this year there will be pie. We so. love that. Okay, so we have viewers that always, it seems like after you've been on our show, we have people who write us questions. Mm -hmm. And so we have one uh, from someone who's wondering uh, about uh, maybe what she should do now that she's a recent widow. She's been told that she should put her money into a trust so that it won't be taken away by the nursing home. Does she actually need to get one or what is that process? Well, you know, the, the process is come to the workshop, right, mm -hmm. um, to, to start. But if you're looking at, uh, in the short term, if you're looking at long-term care for yourself, uh, whether we put the house in the trust or not, uh, there is no one size fits all to this right. stuff. It really is a, you know, you hear people say, you should always do a trust. You should never do a trust. You should do the ladybird deed. You should do this and that. Well, you know how in, in Lansing now, they've got this lame duck thing going on. Um, there's some legislation pending. We don't know if they'll pass it. Uh, but if they do, the, the whole ladybird deed thing out the window. So, you know, it, it's very, it's just one of those situations. You really have to, you really have to uh, come in you know, get the process started. It is unique right. to everybody. There is no absolutely yes or absolutely no. And people sometimes are under the mistaken impression if their estate isn't, you know, millions of dollars, right. that they don't need that. That is simply not true. You know, it really doesn't take that much. You know, how much Tabasco do you have to put on your scrambled <laughs> eggs to make a difference, right? Yes. <laughs> you don't need that much money. You don't need that much. If you've planned well, uh, because remember, our, our whole thing is, you're not Santa Claus. We're not here to leave it to the next generation. We're here to make sure that your money mm -hmm. is preserved for you so that what you need is what you get throughout your lifetime. Right. If we do that, 
hey, job done. Yes. The fact that there may be leftovers for the kids, well, that's wonderful too, but that's, that's a not special really the bonus. Point. Exactly. And there right. are a lot of complicated issues. People have kids getting married, you have kids that are having children, all of a sudden you have many heirs that you have to, you know, kind right. of consider as part of the process. So you have these life plan workshops that are coming up and you have right. many at co very convenient times through the holiday season. Why don't you kind of run through us through a list? Yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the Christmas Eve Eve workshop <laughs> coming up uh, on the uh, on the 23rd. If you um, uh, and it says it's at the uh, Plainfield office. Actually, um, all of our workshops now are at our East Beltline location. Yay! Yeah, I know. We're so I excited about that. I can't wait to get out there. We understand that you have a special presentation by Eight West that will entertain That's people while right. they wait. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. And, uh, and then January 10th? Uh, yeah, January 10th. I mean, it's every single week. Mm -hmm. Every week the Good Lord brings, we're having another workshop. Uh, and twice on uh, twice on holidays. Yeah. You know, I do want to say I do have a bone to pick with you guys. Uh -oh. So, I, the, at my <laughs> at my last life plan workshop, I had a, I had a, a a lady came up to me and she said, "You know, you're not nearly as fat as you look on oh, TV." Oh, okay. Well, and I figured, well, <laughs> you know, you stick me next to Jordan, you stick me next to you <laughs> Rachel. and Rachel, and it's oh. like, well, what do you expect? I don't know. So well, I was very grateful for the for yes. the insight. But. Yes, I, I always tell people that you know I'm much thinner <laughs> and prettier and younger looking in person than I am on TV. Yeah, so, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have free ornaments too for people who attend those life plan workshops. That's exactly. Oh, well. thank you for reminding yes. me. We did. Uh, these uh, these fancy uh, the fancy ornaments. Those are every attendee gets an ornament, and of course that'll be the centerpiece of your Christmas yes, celebration. I'm exactly. sure. Exactly. Thanks, okay. David. Thanks Thank for being you. with us today. We'll be right back with more of Eight West. Don't go away. Not nearly as fast.